can be used to convert Windows event log events into syslog, as well as a number of syslog formats. In this example, we have the latest NXLog Enterprise Edition installed. And in the Enterprise Edition, we have added the modules to convert event log events to syslog and send these to a file in the file system. So in here we have the input module for event log. The module will use immsvistalog and it will only pull for security events. This is then followed by the output module, module om file, and it will output event log to this nxlog output.log file in the file system, and it will parse it through syslog snare. Now all of these configuration options can be accessed via the NXLog reference manual, man pages. For example, in the extension section, you can see that we have the syslog extension, and we can also see what types of formats that NXLog can parse event log events to which is all the way down here in the procedures section. Now let's go back to the configuration file and let's test this out. So in services, start the NXLog service, but before you start, I'm using Snaketail and in Snaketail, I have opened the nxlog.log file and this is the default log file for nxlog processes. And when I start the service, I can see that nxlog has started. There's no errors other than an SSL error and that's something to do with the default agentcm pen file. And in nxlog output.log file, I can see that I already have some security events that I've generated. And we can also now see that these events are in the snare format, syslog snare format. So if we copy one of the events, let's open a new WordPad file. And if we paste the events, we can see what the event is all about here. And that's it. Uh, so that's how you can set up an X log to send and parse events from event log to syslog. You can use to send this via TCP or UDP. So instead of output file, it's output TCP, and more details are in the documentation.